Dearborn Heights, a very active morning there, but we are certainly happy to report to anybody who has loved ones who is working in that building today that it appears that everyone there is safe. And also we have, we don't believe that the security guard was injured in any way either, yeah. that he was lunged at by that knife, but we do not, or from the, the man with the knife, but we don't believe um, that he was injured in any way. Um, Always a tough situation when you've got to pull your gun out in, in the Absolutely. jobs they have. And, they've got and very tough jobs. A very tough job indeed. But and keep that in mind. Again, if you are heading in that direction, as Joanne mentioned, if you have business to do there, this is on Michigan Avenue, right near Beach Daily, the department. That is a live picture there from one of our crews there on the scene. And again, here are live pictures from Chopper 7. Yeah. We're staying on top of this story for you. A very um, a, a situation that sounded more dire when we first came on air about a half an hour ago with this getting word that shots were fired and that someone may have opened fire in the um, lobby of the police department. Thankfully, that was not the case. Instead, the case is that someone walked in there. I don't know what their business was with the police mm -hmm. department. We have no idea, to be honest with you, if that man meant any initial harm. Uh, right. I mean, he had a knife on him, obviously, and I would assume that if you're going through security at the police department there, that obviously there are there would be metal detectors there, and anything would either go off or you'd have to take your, your weapon out. So who knows what the circumstances are behind why that man was there with a knife, if he meant harm for anybody. Uh, or what happened. All we do know is that um, the security office act, officer acted and shot and killed the man. And we do want to check back in with our Jennifer Bisram, who is there on the scene. Jen, what can you tell us now? Hey, good morning, guys. You know, we saw a lot of activity within the last few minutes here. Uh, Michigan State Police pulled up here a, long, a little while ago. We have choppers up. We also saw someone stretchers, ambulance and stretchers uh, that were here just a short time ago also. And I want to kind of bring in the person that we talked with on the phone just a short time ago. Can you tell us, uh, have you talked to your wife? Your wife is inside just for our viewers who uh, were, you know, to keep viewers up to speed here. We have a person whose wife was inside at the time of the shots were fired. Is that correct? Yes, she, she works in the records bureau upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, Tell us, did you talk to her? Have you spoken to her yet? Yes, I, I, I talked to her when I pulled up and uh, she said everything's secure and everything's okay inside. She's still scared, obviously, uh, with, with the shooting and all. What did she say happened? Uh, she, she couldn't tell me uh, because obviously she's inside and um, she works for the police department. But uh, she did, did confirm there was a shooting and that everything was okay. How did you know what had happened? I mean, I'm sure you were I very... At, I was at work and my son had called me and uh, had said there was a shooting up here. I don't know how he found out yet. But uh, I uh, immediately came up here from Plymouth to see what was going on and okay. make sure my wife is okay. Yeah, we're glad she's and, okay. And everybody else, yes. Some scary moments there. Yes, very. And tell us your name, sir. Edward Mandel. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you, Edward. So you heard from Edward there. His wife works inside in the, for the records department, and she was inside at the time the shots were fired here. Again, we're being told it happened just before 9 o'clock this morning. We're on the Beach Daily side here of the police department. We're told that police are going to be giving, giving some sort of a briefing uh, in a few minutes. We are waiting to hear from them. You can see right there Michigan State Police there as well, Ingster Police Department. You can see right in front of the Dearborn Heights Police department there is an ambulance there there have been officers going in and out officers surrounding the building since we got here about 15 minutes ago or so but again it's a very active situation here this morning guys